So, yes. Yes, I am the photographer, Mayor. I have two good questions. The first question is, what is Boca Raton doing to address the hidden systemic racism in the city of Boca Raton? That's the first one. Yes. The second one comes with actual proof. Does, so does the first one. The second question is, why is Boca Raton and its partners making millions of dollars by exploiting the homeless, drug addicts, and mentally unstable? And your partner that I'm specifically talking about, because I have their tax return on my tablet, willing to fork over the proof, Boca Helping Hands made $10 million, a little bit over, let's say 9.5, around it to 10. $10 million according to the tax return that they filed. They made that much money. They treat people like crap. And there's not one hunger or homeless problem that has been solved. You have a major drug problem also in the city that you guys are trying to hide. So the first question. I, once, I got them. All right. Gotcha. Thank you. All right. Well, I met the photographer, and I'm glad he happened to be here. He asked what the, it was his town hall. He, he voiced some concerns to me about treatment at the library, disparate treatment, racist treatment, in his opinion. And he was sharing some facts, and I said, this is the first I've heard of this, and I will follow up on these concerns. I really can't answer your first question about systemic hidden racism, because it's only you only see it when people report concerns. And if you have a concern, I take it very seriously. And staff will too. You, you mentioned that you contacted staff about it before. As I said, when you came in, it was the first time I've heard about it. As for both the helping hands, I can't really speak to the specifics about their revenues. I wouldn't characterize what they do that way. I see them providing a wide range of services, not just in not just feeding the homeless or providing job training for them, which they do, but they actually provide a number of programs to help lower income individuals. Every month, every week. They send about 500 kids home with backpacks full of food for families who don't have it. And they do it in a way that doesn't stigmatize them because no one should feel stigmatized about not having enough food. But they put it in a backpack so they pick it up, they pick up basically a big backpack full of food on Friday for the weekend for their families. So if you have particular concerns about boat helping hands, I'd suggest you take it up with them. Um, I really have not, yours are the first concerns I've ever had of anyone talking about that organization, most of them glowingly, and I will say from what I've seen some positive things. Just on the issue of homelessness, though, I did want to mention it. You know, we, we do have a homeless population. It's, it's relatively small. It's a lot smaller than other cities. We'd like to get to functional zero. We have a lot of outreach programs. Our police officers do yeoman's work in terms of being a point of contact. We have mental health specialists on our police force. We have about 20, more in the more, well over 20, maybe even over 30 officers counseled in issues like this because a lot of homelessness does relate to mental health. It does relate to drug addiction. Um, we work with other agencies to try to provide more resources there. There is no easy silver, there is no super answer, but um, we try. And uh, I think in some cases we succeed, but um, we can always be doing more. We don't want to, we want to provide resources to everyone who needs it. Marjorie, 